Honda, they recently got, I mean, not recently, about two years ago, they got rid of their hydrogen fuel cell car, the Clarity. They realized that, uh, I think they realized anyway, that um, in spite of what Toyota was telling them, and Toyota have certainly been telling everyone who would listen, hydrogen is the future of the automotive industry. That wasn't really ever going to happen. They realized that, um, yeah, EVs were going to take over, but they've had two years to think of what they were going to do with all the money they invested into hydrogen fuel cells, or as some people would call them, hydrogen full cells. And they found something. They found a really good way to dump their hydrogen fuel cells on a rocket. Just put them on the moon, apparently. Now, I know this sounds ridiculous, but... Um, Here's the story. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Hydrogen, apparently, will be very useful on the moon, says Honda. Fuel cells haven't taken off as a power source on Earth and probably never will, but Honda says they could work well on the moon. American Honda Motor Company has signed a deal with Astrobotic Technology Inc. to jointly develop a continuous power source for lunar missions. What I reckon happened is, guys, the executives at these companies, they were sitting around watch, having a chat. One of them said, you seen that movie with Matt Damon? The one where he has to go and... He's on Mars and they crash land. Well, you know what? I reckon in that situation, hydrogen would be perfect. And well, here we are today. The companies will study how to integrate Honda's regenerative fuel cell system with Astrobotics vertical solar array technology and lunar grid power infrastructure to supply electricity on the moon where darkness lasts for two weeks at a time. Did you know that? On the moon, it can be dark for two weeks at a time. Not great for solar. Honda said its system can use solar energy and water con to continuously produce oxygen, hydrogen, and electricity. Now, what could go wrong when it comes to hydrogen on the moon? I'm sure we could you know, make some interesting movies about that too. Solar power, though, is stored as hydrogen during the lunar day and can be converted into electricity during the prolonged darkness when temperatures can drop to more than 400 degrees below zero. The only byproduct from the fuel cell is water, which Honda then recycles to form a closed loop energy cycle. Sounds utopian, doesn't it? Sounds amazing. The collaboration between Honda and Astrobotic marks a pivotal step toward creating scalable power solutions for long-term lunar surface missions, said Derek Edelman, chief engineer for American Honda Space Development Division. Powered by core Honda technologies, our regenerative fuel cell system is designed to provide efficient energy storage and regeneration to support human life on the moon, as well as advanced zero emission applications on Earth. The company said they hope their collaboration will enable expanded mission capabilities, support a sustained human presence on the moon, advance lunar surface infrastructure development and power future commercial industries. Key phrase. Government, give us some funding. NASA, give us some funding, and we'll, uh, we'll do this for the moon, but also for future commercial industries. So Honda clearly doesn't think it's just the moon, but it's the world that still needs their hydrogen fuel cells. They plan to test the feasibility of using fuel cells on the moon, though, by simulating a year's worth of days and nights at the lunar south pole to determine how much sunlight the solar panels will actually receive. Based on how much energy can be captured, Honda will determine the proper size of its fuel cell system to support the needs of lunar mission scenarios. So what do you guys think? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you can dump all those hydrogen fuel cells on the moon. I don't think they're going to be much good. But hey, I'm a skeptic now on hydrogen. Some people still love it. Guys, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now, I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day 
Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount. Honda has just revealed why there is a very high likelihood it will go bankrupt within the next 10 years. Doesn't look like it's close to that now, does it? I mean, Honda's selling millions of cars. Surely everything's fine. Well, not so if you think you want to be part of the future. The future is going to be very different to now. Look what's already happening in China. Plug-in hybrid sales, hybrid sales are already declining. EV sales skyrocketing this year. We're seeing the future. It's already here. And yet Honda is saying, with a straight face, I mean, this is not a joke, electric cars are not the goal. That's a direct quote. Those uh, one, two, three, four, five, six words. Electric cars are not the goal. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, and I'm all here for I'm all here for the demise of Honda. Demise of Honda. The this might as well be the uh, Honda's funeral. I think they just basically announced it. Now I know Honda doesn't just make cars. Yeah, maybe you never know. Maybe they'll make other stuff and just not do cars anymore. Because if EVs are not a priority for Honda, then um, yeah, they're going to be left behind. The, the Chinese is just too strong, too good, too powerful. They make such good vehicles, and I don't see what um, if Honda doesn't take that seriously, then they're just simply going to be disrupted. As with many other car manufacturers, Honda has scaled back its EV ambitions significantly. Last year, it said it was going to spend sixty-eight billion for electrification. Now that includes hybrids, by the way. I should add, but it has basically reduced that by thirty percent a few months ago. And let's be honest, what? If you're not in the United States and you can buy a General Motors made Honda EV, if you're in the rest of the world, what Honda EV appeals to you? I don't think there'd be any anywhere outside of the US and the Honda Prologue. There's a few, you know, GM made, but I mean, Honda can't survive as a company contract manufacturing and buying contract manufactured vehicles from General Motors. That's just not going to work, right? So Honda really has nothing. The company. Also, though, say they aimed for purely electric cars to account for only 30% of annual sales by the end of the decade. Now, 30%. This year, we're going to hit 30% globally. So in five years' time, EV sales will be at least 60% worldwide. Honda's market share will fall significantly. So Honda is saying they initially were aiming for 30% by the end of the decade. Now, they've cancelled that plan. 